So today I'm gonna start working on this 1970 Cadillac. This Cadillac's a little bit newer to me. I've only had it for about a couple months or a little bit less than that. And uh, I noticed there's, some, there's a few things on it that kind of stand out that I wanna get squared away. One of the things that I see is the chrome. Uh, the chrome has a, a little bit of rust. I could probably clean it up, but I have another set of nice chrome bumpers, pretty much brand new chrome. So I might throw that on there. And the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw some white walls on it. Probably some three or four inch uh, white walls. And uh, let's see how that looks. I'm also thinking I'm probably gonna, I might airbag it, but if I don't airbag it, I might end up doing uh, doing a static drop on it. For the static drop, what I'll do, I'll cut this, uh, the springs, uh, probably uh, three coils, two, two, two and a half to three coils, just to get this about three or four inches on the ground, and going from there. So uh, take a look at the process, let me know what you think. Um, I have too many cars, so I'm just gonna do this build, see if I like it, see how it comes out. It kinda, if the car sticks to me, I'll, I'll end up keeping it. If not, it's gonna be for sale, so if somebody's interested, hit, hit me up. So let's take a look underneath the car and see what we need to do. Okay, what I am noticing is that the lower control arms, the bushings are kind of, they're ate up pretty bad. So it looks like the bushings almost gone on this one. This is on the passenger side. So I do have some new lower control arms I can slap on there or I can just swap out the bushings. I'll take a look at the condition of the other ones and come up with a plan. So right now what it looks like is that we're gonna have to uh, remove and replace the control the lower control arms upper control arms uh we're gonna have to cut the springs there so we can have a nice little drop on it um other than that the motor looks pretty clean the undercarriage doesn't look too bad I let the jack drop by itself and I just step away from the car and everything will come apart by itself.
go ahead and cut that spring and get it ready to pour. Okay, the basic idea behind cutting springs is that for every coil that you cut, you're lowering the car, you're gonna be, you lower the car two inches. So for every coil that you cut, you draw, uh, for every coil that you cut, you lower the car two inches. So I cut uh, one and a half coils. I'm gonna do the same thing for this other spring. Okay, to get that cut right, the best thing to do is use some tape. Any grinder will do the job. Plugging your grinder. Double check your double check your cut. So you don't do it have to do it twice. Yeah. Okay, double check it and then get ready to cut it. So this, the spring has been cut. Let's just compare it to make sure it looks the same as the other one. Yep, it's exactly the same. So we, so we have an even cut. 